video. Today I'm gonna take you through the removal of the uh, engine oil pump. Engine oil pump is this part here, right there. As you can see, it's secured on the casing by those bolts. They are uh, four uh, and other two underneath, so they are in total total of six so now we're busy i'm gonna take you through the removal so what, what, what did i do there were lockings all around so the lockings had been cut so that uh, i can speed up otherwise it's, it takes forever so the inlet and outlet uh, pipes were removed obviously and uh, it was just uh, uh, everything was uh, uh, removed as the piping uh, wise so yeah as you can see the casing is a bit corroded so we're going to just to remove it as we're stripping everything which we can we can strip and then these will be discarded straight away there's no way we're gonna treat this corrosion it's just uh, we're gonna strip the pump and then look inside how it is if it's only the casing which is affected then we shall just uh, discard the casing and then uh, get the new casing okay so that that's it as i as a reminder this engine had been uh, uh, put in uh, in uh, quarantine and uh, it hasn't been uh, uh, it hasn't been touched for many many years actually i was surprised because uh, we thought it it seized it was seized but uh you know we managed to turn it so it's turning other than just the outside the casing corrosion and everything all these housings they're going to be discarded as you can see there's corrosion there there's corrosion there and there's corrosion everywhere there's corrosion there's corrosion there there's corrosion there so this housing is 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 dead it's dead so you can see inside so we're busy trying to strip it and then uh, we we're gonna uh, discard everything and then see what is is, uh, is is recoverable then we can recover it and wash it clean it and then we're gonna we shall inspect afterwards and whatever need to be sent for treatment we're gonna do that but the parts which are, are already uh, uh, attacked by corrosion we're not gonna waste our time on it because this is a magnesium alloy magnesium alloy and and um, and uh, and then all the other parts which are affected so we're gonna have to discard unfortunately you can see these are corroded rusted that we're not gonna waste any time because that's uh, in the carburetor that's an uh, engine control uh, uh, engine control so that we're not gonna do but the thing which need to be overruled, they're going to be uh, overruled. Yeah, that is a fuel pump, engine driven. And then, uh, yeah, so those we can remove and, and overall. But the rest which is rusted, we're not going to waste our time. We're going to treat what we can treat. What is, uh, what is uh, it's reusable, we can use it. Hardware is going to be discarded so everything everything and then uh, yeah so it's just exercise of uh, trying to see what's going on to investigate what's happened because this engine was uh, was overhauled in 1961 is when you look at the when you look at the data plate which is uh, uh, it's uh, it's on the engine uh, block it had been done in 1961 in Algiers, Algeria, Algeria, Breda. Breda, it's in Nigeria, I think. Yeah, Breda, Breda. Okay, let me double check that. Uh, let me double check. Uh, okay, just bear with me a bit. Breeder, you see there? Yeah, it 
it was done in Algeria. Because uh, this aircraft was operating in uh, Algeria uh, Army and Air Force back in the days, because uh, as you remember, Algeria was part of France. So these in, this, this machine, this engine was fitted, were fitted on uh, MD Basset Dassault, uh, 311, 312, and 315, and other variant. And then it's the same engine which is fitted was fitted on a Second World War um, fighter aircraft. It's a Messerschmitt 109. So it's the same engine and very robust engine, uh, manufactured uh, initially by Linolt and uh, Snecma. So it's uh, it's quite a popular engine. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna proceed of uh, the removal of uh, the pump. Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna have a, a bit of difficulties here, but uh, nevertheless, it's all part of uh, business Just clear that part there so that I can be able to the locking which are inaccessible. So what I'm trying what, what I'm trying to do just try to clear it so that I can, uh, can work. Just bear with me a bit as I prepare everything because there's a bit hidden there. of the way sorry just dropping stuff Anyway, I'm stripping everything, so uh, I'm not worried too much about it. Yeah, but uh, other than that, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so that is the pipe. Okay, let's go back to our pump. So then everything is clear. pump is detached, just removing the last two bolts, as you can see, I am, I hope you, you, you're seeing very well, otherwise I'm going to move the camera closer, it's just two bolts, which the remaining two, which uh, is secured pump and then we shall be able to to detach the pump yeah, it, uh, yeah it's not that difficult because I've done everything this is loose this is loose so everything is loose 
so that uh, when it's uh, on a bench and then uh, you don't have difficulties because everything is rusted and corroded. And then uh, normally I'm gonna have a problem because this pipe is a bit stuck. It's a bit stuck. All right, as I said, uh, there was uh, this engine was um, left outside with no protection, no covers, and then uh, everything is corroded inside and outside. So I'm gonna try and use extension just to undo the the nut. Yo, that was, so yeah, I didn't manage to do it without uh, the extension, but now all is good now. Okay, let me use the ratchet, just to make it quick. So yeah, I had difficulties to undo. There we go, it's corroded, eh? See now it's loose. Now it's loose this one. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So because there was water inside, that's why it was a bit uh, rusted, corroded. You can see the way it is. But I'm glad that. Uh, came loose easily but on my own without a power bar I uh, couldn't I had difficulties okay so now it's our pump the next is our pump as you can see nicely There we go, that's our water, uh, engine or pump, engine driven oil pump. You can see the shaft. Okay, that's the inlet, the outlet. And this is a, yeah, that's a casing. As you can see, it's badly corroded, right? Eh? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna dismantle it normally inside you can see it's not that bad but it was it's just the outside so what we're gonna do we're gonna replace all the parts which are corroded and then the rest which is not corroded we're gonna treat and uh, but it's difficult to try and save uh, the magnesium alloy parts Maybe, but so we'll see but we're gonna clean it nicely Strap it, inspect, discard what we need to discard, treat what we need to treat, and then 
we're going to recondition this pump. So yeah. So let's inspect the housing. As you can see, this is a the engine driven uh, uh, oil pump and this is a pad obviously you can see there's an o-ring there because there's an oil all around yeah and then as I saw I, I, as I said that you, you can see the filter inside there which is that one and then you got the inlet filter and the outlet filter so both filters are there just to trap the debris and then uh, filter the oil uh, before it goes uh, it goes back to the engine so that is a, is a driving uh, pad and everything and then that's where the pump is fitted so I'm gonna proceed by removing all the accessories here the piping and then I will attack the uh, the engine engine control uh, that is uh, actually your throttle and stuff are connected there uh, they are both side left and right as you can see and I'm not gonna go into the details about this but uh, this is very much what uh, I wanted to share with you guys because the removal of the engine oil, the engine driven oil pump and then uh, we we gonna proceed by the removal of the the carburetor carburetor this is the whole part here in uh, in black that also I'll cover it in my video, next video, just to show you how we're going to remove it. But we're going to start with the housing, uh, this housing here. We're going to start with this housing here. So to be able to give us uh, the, you know, to clear so that we can attack, you know, the removal. Uh, we're going to start with the removal of the carburetor. Carburetor is this whole part, everything. And then, um, yeah. And then the reheat system, which brings the oil inside the carburetor part of it, so that the air can be, you know, uh, a bit uh, heated before it goes into the admission. Because the air enter from the bottom, goes up, mix with the fuel, and then goes up into the admission. So this is uh, the outlet, admission outlet. And then there is a there is a compressor. A centrifugal uh, uh, compressor impeller uh, which goes we supply both sides of the the the, the engine because we got uh, two rows of uh, cylinders left and right and then we got one side of the inlet the outlet sorry from the impeller and then the other side also so it's both sides so it feeds uh, feed both sides. This actually is just to accelerate the, the mixture so that it can go into the cylinder with uh, with a bit of uh, speed and then uh, uh, and so forth. So yeah, just to increase so that uh, you know because this is a supercharged you know engine and obviously is done on this uh, on this level here uh, because the impeller is inside. When when I will remove this, then I'll show you guys the impeller. And then you will see how simple it was and then very accurate. It's all technology, but it works. So yeah, as you can see, uh, we proceed with the rest of the thing. But uh, I'm going to concentrate very much on the rear part of the engine. This is an accessory uh, gearbox. And uh, that's what gives you, you know, that's what uh, drive uh, different accessories there. A starter because the Jenny is a separate one, it's a separate unit which goes there, and then you have a, a hydraulic pump. Uh, no, no, I'm uh, okay. Yeah, this is a hydraulic pump head, and this is a starter, and this is a DC generator, and this is a mag, the mag, max, a magneto. Yeah, so it's a sing single magneto, but which is a, a, a dual uh, magneto which supply both sides. So it's not that bad uh, other than that, uh, you know, it was uh, it was preserved in, uh, in uh, it wasn't preserved at all, I, I should say, because I don't know when 
last this engine w had been uh, had been uh, you know uh, looked at because we don't even have um, uh, the exact date but we will check in the documentation just to make sure because this engine was just recovered from um, from the stores you know and then it's uh, yeah the the documentation is still gonna come and then we'll double check everything and then we'll do according all the parts which are serialized item we're going to cover and then uh, to recover and we're going to write down everything and then we shall just uh, trace do a traceability uh, just to make sure that the parts are traced yeah thank you all uh, thank you so much for being us, uh, being with us. This is uh, actually a video which I was I wanted to just share with you guys regard to the removal of the engine-driven oil pump. Thank you all.